Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In our last episode, we did some uh, research. We also set up some basic quartz processing so that we can do the continued research on the quartz tree at the MAM. We also uh, did some hard drives, including the one that is available here. So, let's see, we have coated iron plates, which take 10 ingots plus two plastic and make 15 plates and produce very fast 75 per minute wow versus three ingots to two plates making 20 per minute um, right now plastics kind of a bottleneck we're using a lot of it for computers and uh, whatever those the cards were I can't remember what they were now and um, so I'm going to pass on this one, at least tentatively. Um, also, I'm going to pass on Katerium wire. While it is very good at a plain ingot to wire ratio, um, we have we have copper. We've just now barely started tapping, although we haven't tapped all the uh, Katerium either. So maybe in the future. Um, but I think I'd be more interested in possibly this one. Let's see. It's not super fast, but it's f yeah, it's actually super slow, and it uses compacted coal. Well, I don't really feel like I like any of these. I guess I'll take this one. I don't like any of them, so I guess I will take this one. Okay. Now, let's do some of these researches. Uh, this one is three minutes, this one is three seconds, so we'll do the three second one first. Rifle cartridges. Alright. Make sure Ada doesn't say anything. Okay, and then we'll do the rifle research. And we'll be back in three minutes, or we'll fire up another ma'am in three minutes at least, to take a look at what's next. Eventually we'll make it to... Oh, I know what I want to do first. I was going to just go over and check on the... Uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, the, the silo. But I would like to do this uh, last research milestone here at the hub. Which is, there we go, which is the monorail train. Actually, let's do this. And there we go. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. So, um, the plan is to use the railroad for uh, bringing in goods from further away. But I would like to make everything here locally. Um, so we have, what's that, just, just over 60% of the... Uh, versatile frameworks done. We're nearing 50% of modular engines as well as nearing 50% of adaptive control units. So probably a couple more episodes worth uh, depending on if I go on any adventures between episodes or not. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is take a look at... Well, actually let's take a look at the MAM first. A little bit of lag there. That was an autosave maybe. Uh, one minute left. Well... Okay, because I, we do need to do this one as well, and that takes three seconds. So I should have done that one already, and then we could actually look at this recipe. I think, though, what I'll do is I'll head down to where the quartz is being processed, and we'll build uh, ourselves a ma'am down there, since we're right here, basically. Could I do the drop method? I better not. <laughs> Probably end up taking damage.
By the way, I don't... Yeah, I did show this part. I didn't show these over here. I built these several episodes ago, but I showed them off in the distance. But that's that. All I'm doing here is splitting this coal belt that's coming from that uh, pure coal node over there into... Uh, and it's, it's upgraded to a Mark II miner, so I'm just splitting it in half. I'm powering eight here with it, and then the first eight here with it, while this one's only powering these last four. Uh, the plan in the future would be to upgrade that coal node as well as... Uh, these might already be Mark II. I think these... Yeah, we did make these Mark II. We upgraded our steel with those. We should be just about ready for the MAM, so I'm going to go ahead and build it. Yep. Rifle is complete. Do this one for three seconds. And the pistol oscillator is complete. So but now we need five crystal oscillators, which take three ingredients. The quartz crystals, cable, and uh, the plates. So in order to accomplish this one reasonably, uh, so that tree's done. I wish that thing counted up faster. That would be slightly better if it did. I think this is the last thing is that, which I need to just go find some more berries for. And then we have... Now we can work toward this one. And we should be able to start making AI limiters as well. And then we just need the uh, high-speed connectors there. All right, so let's so let's figure out how we can get this. Um, no, not the silica right now. This quartz crystal upstairs reasonably. Um, well, can I bring it up, let's say I brought it up inside the block that the bus is in, um, yeah, right here, could I reasonably do that, I'll go upstairs now. Did I just deconstruct the man without starting anything? I sure did. Hard drive. Start. And 10 minutes. I will try to notice when 10 minutes has passed. Try. If I could bring this up here where the bus is... Actually, that wouldn't be too unreasonable to do. There's a lot of room here. So if I could bring this up here. Let's just say... Oh, can I see where the opening is? There? Let's just say somewhere like this. Let me come up. I'm guessing I will probably have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to hand it off to another one uh, to take it up the rest of the way. Or I could potentially store it here. That might be something reasonable to do. Put it in a box here, facing one direction or the other. So I could take it out like this. And then put in a box, maybe like this. Oh, but I can't put that on that empty floor. That's not going to work. Um, and this is only kind of temporary anyway, because I do still have that... Uh, bus upgrade plan um, that's going to hopefully make everything look work a little bit better here. But if I took this up another level, let's just say for argument's sake that I put it right here. And I took it up to wherever it needs to go up there on the bus. Then I could set this up and and do this. Um, bring this bring this quartz up here. So the other thing that I had was, as you can tell, we've run out of space. Uh, the last thing we built, which were the computers, are basically bumped right into right here. Are the computers? 
they're bumped right into here, which is where we're making the encased industrial beams. So now we've kind of run out of linear space, even though we have a lot of empty space, we've run out of linear space along the bus. So uh, one option would be to, of course, keep going in this direction and move these or do something different with the way these elevators are bringing up the coal or the iron, or in the iron, I should say. But I think what I want to do is, is for sure stop at this point in the growth in this direction. Oh, look, there's a slug there. And there's a cave there, too. Interesting. I didn't even notice that when I was down there. Oh, I know probably why I didn't notice it, because I didn't really go into this side. I was either up here working on the iron, or down here working on the coal, and there's a there's a ridge here. So the other idea that I have is to turn the bus. Those of you who are Factorio players are quite familiar with turning the bus, I'm sure. Um, but it's actually uh, fairly simple with a bus like this because I could take Maybe this this probably here is a pretty good spot. Um, I could take a stack of splitters They would be right here uh, Facing one direction or the other depending on which, which direction the items are coming along. This is uh, iron rods, I think Yeah, so it would just this one would just be facing this way and we'd have to, of course, take down every belt and put every belt back up. We would just build our way all the way up to the top of the bus and split off every belt along the way and then run them that way. And then I can build on whichever side of it I want to, which I think I would build on this side because that's where the gap is between these two rock formations. And that might make the best place for building as we grow in that direction. So if we if we kind of looked at it this way, if we built out something like this with the bus, maybe one extra, yeah, maybe one wider, just so that I have some walking around room here. And we just built in this direction, kind of like we've been building in that direction every time we add something to the bus. And I think that might work And then that gives us much more room to expand and grow. Because uh, we can build that way until we run out of, uh, basically out of world. Uh, until we hit the artificial edge of the map. Which I think we will uh, hopefully be making everything we needed to make before we get to that point. So I think this is a good plan to work on. Uh, we're only about six minutes into the man research, five or six minutes. So um, I think what we should do is head back downstairs, get this thing situated. Can I just jump from here? Mm, maybe. Oh, I can, but can, will I take damage? That's the question. Uh, but jump down from here, get this stuff situated here with the um, with the, the crystals, uh, the quartz crystals, bring it up here, send it up, put it down the bus, and then we can work on a Uh, I need cable. Uh, then we can work on a manufacturer that makes the crystal oscillators. Right? Is that what they're called? And it is what they're called. So let's jump down here and hopefully not do take too much damage. Yeah, two squares. That's probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. Okay, but a merger goes here. Do, do, do. These are producing 22 and a half. I will probably make end up making more of these. Um, the other thing is, since I don't... Oh, no, no. I did not back it up to two spaces before I hit the button. One, two. In. Out. There. So I can easily add more of these. At least two more of these, I think. Maybe three more. Here, and here, yeah, two more, and that should give me a good, so this is dead center, that's good too, that should give me a good position here for picking these things out. So, um, I think I want to put this as close to the coal belt as I can, but not that close. Is that as close as it can go? It is. 
Uh, and then we'll take it up to some point up there. But I think I want to go up there and look at where it is. And then it's just a matter of connecting that, oops, connecting that final belt there up. And I think we can probably reach that from down here, or from, from up there to down here. Um, I think I will go... Well, I... See, that would be where that uh, belt for the rods is. Technically, plates would be here. So maybe I go, I do go here. I want to go here? I think so. And then we go up there somewhere. But I don't have a spot for it just yet. Okay. Uh, can we connect? Oh, this isn't right. This isn't in the right spot. Good. Green line means good. Okay. So this spot here is that belt. Down two is the is the um, plate. And so then here would be where I can do this easily and safely. And I reach that. Oh, it's going to be finicky. Wait a minute. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So that's um, 22 and a half times 2, so that's 45. And that is perfect. Well, that's coming up. Let's grab the ma'am, because I just noticed what time it was. Oh, we need cable. I spent all of my cable, but I think, yes, there is. There's some right here I can steal. Excellent. I mean, I just paused that effectively, but... That's good either way. Pure Katerium. Those aren't bad plans. Heavy flexible frame. Made with rubber. Requires more screws. I think we saw this one before. But requires fewer encased steel beams. Not that interested. Copper alloy is copper plus iron. 15 ore makes 20 plates. That's a bonus. Uh, makes 100 per minute instead of 30. That's a bonus. I think... I mean, we already have the... Um, we already have the pure copper. Which is even better other than having to pump the water up to wherever we're smelting at. So I think maybe I'll take this pure catarium. And this is the final hard drive I have, so I will need to go on more adventures in order to get more hard drives. But we'll be able to get this one done here before the end of the episode, as long as I remember. Alright, so now... Uh, let's see. You will need to go all the way up to the top. Um, can I do this? The answer to that question is kind of a resounding no. So maybe I should do this first. And then we bring it in this way and split it. Alright. Uh, how high is this? Six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we need to go up to level 22. This is now 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. So assuming that's right, which it looks like it is, I hope it is, be able to delete all of these, get all my materials back, and then take this back out again. I gotta redo this, because it won't snap properly. That went a lot easier than it did the last time. Okay, and then... Now I think I can either do... Well, can I do it this way? This might be easier. Oh, that is a host... Wow, that is so much easier. And then that goes in there. And they should be now going on to the bus. If there was a bus up there. So we'll go this way. And that way. Have they made it this far yet? Nope. They're on their way. While they're on their way, let me do some fence railing here. Can't put the one here, unfortunately. Because it sticks out too far. Could potentially do... Nope, can't even do those. What about if it was... Up there, can I put it right here? No, because it won't. Yeah, I'd have to basically build it out. Um, I'd have to build it out like this, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I could do it like this. Come on, there you go. Which would at least keep me from stumbling into the hole. Uh, that's how we kind of used to do railings. Although it's, they're backwards from these. Um, that's how we used to do railings before we had the the railings. But I think I will I will try to be safe. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, so we're talking about splitting the bus right here. Which means that this needs to go there as well. And then we need to have splitters here. And be mindful of which, where each item is coming from. Uh, at this level, everything comes... Actually, pretty much anything that's empty right now is coming from the left as we stand here. And then only stuff that's got something on it. Would potentially need to be split... Then I think that next one is cable. Yes, yeah, so that's cable. That's coming from the left. And then there is catarium wire. And then copper sheets. And then frames. Actually, I think everything else is coming from... Yeah, there's only three items coming from this way. No, there's more. There are... One, two, three, four, five, six items coming from this way. Okay, so those three plus the top three that are here. Everything else is coming from the left. Can't see. Yeah, that one. This one. This one. And then this one is the one we just put in, which is the crystals, the, the quartz crystals. And so now I can take these two out because we don't have plates coming this far, nor do we have anything on the bottom level. We also don't have anything on uh, level three here because that's our kind of pass-through level. Um, 
and then everything else needs to be extended. Which is actually m more work than it should be. I'm down here, let's see. Okay, you go there. That one works. And then that'll be it for here. Yep, that one works. Excellent. Bus is full from that point. Just easier from the other side, as I almost fall into the hole. Yeah, it might be. A lot of pass through going on here now. Nope, not that one. Here? There. Alright, and then this is uh, copper wire. Or wire, I guess. Especially now that we can make it out of... I can't afford. Now that we can make it out of Katerium or iron or... or did we take either of those recipes? I don't even remember. I'm going to take a bunch of this. Maybe 800. How are we doing on power, by the way? Wow. Pretty, um... Using quite a bit. Okay. So, wire. And then Katerium wire. And then whatever this happens to be. Uh, wait, that's copper sheets? Oh, wait. This one. Staters. Actually, it might be better if I stood on top of one of these things. A uh, commenter suggested that I... Actually, that one's done. That's why I didn't need to do any more. Uh, a commenter suggested that I build catwalks alongside the bust to be able to access some of these higher belts more reasonably. Um, I like that idea, and I will do that probably as I rebuild the bus. I like how you can kind of change your velocity in midair without having a jetpack or anything. Must be a feature of the... Um... What are they called? The the Katarian boots, the things, whatever they're called. Up here. Yeah, that's probably going to be better. And actually, we just need to go into these now. So it's not going to be better. Probably need to do this on this side. Go into... Oh, you know what I need to do here? I need to delete all of these belts that are here. Mark 1, Mark 1, Mark 1, and Mark 1. We'll stop there. It goes here. This needs to still connect across. And these are here. Thank you, autosave. Okay. One connects there. And then here. And looking at the time, it's time to build a new MAM again. Okay, let's build a new MAM. There's that alternate signal beacon. Wet concrete takes six limestone and makes four concrete versus three making one. So that's double the production with inclusion of water 
And it's many times faster. And then there's sulfur and compacted coal. Uh, compacted coal... was, I think, one coal... Why is it not showing me the recipe for compacted coal? We did get it, I thought. Let me build a um, assembler here and look at that compacted coal recipe. Yeah. Okay, so five and five make five. Okay, and then this one is effectively then three sulfur plus one coal equals four black powder compared to two sulfur plus one coal equals one black powder or gunpowder so that's not a bad deal um, it's also twice as fast um, and it gives us uh, it, it lets our coal extend a little bit further because sulfur I think is only used to make this let me see that in here. No, we can't see that in here. I think sulfur is only used to make uh, gunpowder and compacted coal. Um, so this might be worth it. This would be worth it as well if we had uh, water. But we also have a ton of limestone, and I don't see this as being that necessary. So maybe we'll take this one. And that will be the end of our hard drives for now. So I'll have to go on an adventure between the episodes. Uh, okay. Now back to what we were working on. This one. There. Okay. There. And this one. We snap in there. There. And there. Well, at least we got a bunch of junk in our inventory now. I'm deconstructing all these belts. Although that technically didn't need to be extended there. Oh, I can also bring Katerium wire into here. Please, thank you. And whatever that is that I can't see at this point. Then you come out, and you come out, and you're a Mark Three, I think. Yeah, it's a Mark Three. Let's see. So mark one here. Yeah, this stuff's hard to see. Maybe I should build a tower. At least I would be able to see a little bit better, hopefully. Yeah, but I'm in a bad spot. Yeah. Mark three. Use the picker tool, Wally. Okay, can I see these? There it is. There. And there. 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 Then these three all come out. They are the ones coming from this side. You go... There. There. 
there. And this one can come from this side. I think I should be able to do these in reverse if I'm careful. That. Very careful. That one I might not be able to find. But that's okay. Here goes there. Alright, so everybody should be reconnected now. And now we need to just extend the bus. Simple. So we're going to go from the middle here. Although, to be fair, I probably will do like five from here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we can go this way. That'll go only to right there. And I think I'd rather have it here. Okay. Need a ton of these. I don't remember how many. But we'll just... Or maybe I should count them. I think it was like 21, 22. No, I'm not going to count them. This goes on to number two. Then number four. Then one at a time. And of course, I could, um, I could have done these from the top, making my job perhaps a little bit easier. But I think doing it from here is better. Because then I don't have to count them. I just have to connect one to the next, one to the next. I'm only doing Mark 1 belts at this point because I don't know what we're going to need in this direction. And I'd rather just spin the iron plates for right now. Back up a little bit. It'll be easier, I think. To see. One too many. That was pretty good. Okay, so everything is now on the bus going in this direction. So next time, we'll be able to build those crystal oscillators and keep going with our progress into uh, more research. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye for now.